I'm going to show you our poor man's camper. So what we've done here is built a uh, 2x4 frame with a uh, plywood platform on the top of it that can be used both as a seat when uh, you're, maybe the weather is bad outside and you just want to sit in your van and read or do something. Um, and then it all folds out into a bed. Let me lift it up here first so you can see kind of how it's made underneath. A little bit difficult to see this maybe, but you'll see that it's just a 2 before frame around. has a 2 before stiffener in the middle, or 2 by 2 excuse me, then a 2 by 2 stiffener down each side. These are all screwed together, this whole frame is. Underneath of the plywood here, there are also, there's 1 by 4 stiffeners that help keep the bed from being springy. They hit on this, of course. Um, right here, these are little stops that are made out of this uh, three-quarter inch plywood material to keep the bed from, uh, the platform from going forward here when the, you're in the seated position. Now to make it into a bed is quite simple, actually. I did see this design or a similar design on the internet, a young man had made it in Canada, and I kind of took that design and just uh, changed things around a little bit to make it more user-friendly. We're in a Chevrolet Venture van, a 2001 Chevrolet Venture van. So we have a four foot between the fender wells inside here and almost eight feet actually. It's uh, pretty close to, oh, it's like seven and a half feet in length. So we have a, a lot of uh, usable space in this. So even when the bed is folded out, we'll still have room for uh, maybe a food box or whatever, or an ice chest up here in the front. But then of course the platform itself is uh, 11 inches high here in the front, uh, 10 and a half in the back because of the way the, the van sloped or the inside of it. You'd have to do that for your van to make it fit yours and figure out what those uh, heights would be. But that 10 and a half inches gives us room to put our sleeping bags, um, uh, our, our cooking equipment, uh, all of our other camping things can go underneath of this uh, while we're camping. So it's uh, pretty handy. So let's go ahead and fold it out into a bed. So I mentioned the slats underneath that give stiffening, but what the one slat is actually made to, to function as the stop as I pull this bed forward. So go forward to that first slat, that's my stop. And then the back of the, uh, the seat here is actually uh, goes down into some slots that were cut in the two before frame in order to allow it to be good and solid. But now what I'll do is pull this up out of the slots and then I just let it down, I, he says, let it down. So now it's into the, into the sleeping. And then the bed here or this uh, nice little seat with the armrest now will just fold over and become the other part of the sleeping platform. So it, it actually works pretty good. This is uh, uh, four, excuse me, uh, 47 and a half inches wide, and it's 74 inches long. So it's basically the same size as a full size bed, uh, very similar. So what I'll do now is we're going to be putting four inch foam that will cover with a, a material so that it could be uh, the seats, the seat back, and uh, the other pieces will just uh, store in behind. And then when we make a bed, we'll put that all together, put a full-size sheet around it, and then we'll be able to put blankets on it or put sleeping bags on it, or however you want to sleep on it. So we'll put it back up in reverse so you can see how it goes. The seat goes over. The back end comes up till it hits in the notches. This lifts up, slides back till it hits the stop and you have a bed. So this piece of plywood here was put on there because I felt that the front of the bed was a little bit springy with this. This is three quarter inch uh, pine material. Maybe if I'd used a hardwood, it'd been less, but it's still with almost four feet. You're gonna have some spring in it. I put this on there just as a stiffener. I think once the cushion's on, we won't even hardly know it's there because we're gonna have a four inch, fairly dense foam cushion on it. The four inch cushion is going to cause us a little bit of headroom issues with this, but I think we'll still be fine. Um, it's just what we had to do. Maybe if we would have lowered it down another inch, 
you know, say we're 11 inches here, maybe at 10 inches it would have given us another inch. But I think it, I think it's pretty good. And in the in the future, we're hoping to on this piece that uh, the the rear piece of this bed, I'm thinking about putting a pivoting out um, piece of plywood on there, attached with a pivot, so that we'll be able to cook with the stove behind it. Um, I don't want to put anything sliding on rails in and out because I'd like to use the area underneath for storage. That said, um, I suppose you could uh, put some kind of a rail on there and be able to slide out drawers. But there's a lip in the back of the van about this high that would really prevent you from doing that well. And if you raise this any higher, you're not going to have seating. My head's touching right now, so it is. Uh, down on this one, because of this, it's, it's a problem. But I, th I think it'll be fine uh, overall. Um, we probably won't be sitting back here much. In fact, we envision the bed being made out most of the time. Um, you'll be, you're able to access uh, things that you store in here pretty well. Uh, possibly another design change would be to put these at an angle so you still have your support, but then it would let you open that up. The back's the same when it's folded out. Um, currently, of course, you can see down into the frame so you can easily access whatever you have back there. Uh, if, if you need to access it with the bed folded out, you'll be able to just lift it up. It hinges right here. We use piano hinges to give it strength. Um, and uh, I, I think it's going to work really well. So we'll see. And uh, anyway, that's a poor man's camper.